And I think that's what makes what you do at Barber Financial Group so unique. Your team of CPAs, you work alongside of our certified financial planners and you say, okay, we're building out a financial plan that is a 15, 20, 30 year forward looking financial plan. And then you and your team of CPAs come in and you say, all right, let's take a look at this, not from an investment perspective, not from a how much income can I get perspective, not from what can my lifestyle be perspective, but from the perspective of how can we help you get the money into your checking account month after month, year after year, decade after decade that you need in order to live on. And how do we get it there with the very least amount of taxes possible? And so that's what we call long-term forward-looking tax planning. And that's what I love because it does make a difference for people and we need to be doing that and it doesn't have to be the ultra wealthy. It can be, you know, that normal person that we deal with. Most of the people we deal with, you know, we want the 500,000 or more of investments because that's where people really start being able to have some flexibility. It's not that we don't care about those less, but it's harder to be able to control taxes because you don't have as many options. And that's what we want to do is look and say, how can we help you? What's your situation? And let's look and create your future. I went out for the team and I was kind of on a cut line, JV, varsity. So they sent me down to JV to practice for maybe a week. And then an injury happened on the varsity level. I came up on varsity and stayed on varsity ever since. And I, start, I was started running back uh, and uh, three years in high school, then got a uh, scholarship at Cal State Fullerton and the rest is history. Okay, so Cal State Fullerton, did, were you running back there too? Yeah, you know, it's funny. You know, I, I didn't play any defensive back in high school. I got recruited out of college as a running back. And well, I could have went either way. So I go to Fullerton my freshman year. And we had like 15 running backs in the running back room. And eight of those guys were on scholarship. So we're about to start our meeting. And Gene Murphy, our head coach, walked in. They said, guys, we got a problem. We need defensive backs. They might want to play defensive back. So I looked around and uh, no one raised their hand. So I raised my hand and I went from offense to defense uh, and learned how to play defensive back corner and started my freshman year after the third, second to third game of my freshman year. And then um, we had a great second year, sophomore year, junior year, senior year, All-American, and then uh, got drafted in the second round by the Giants, which is amazing. I'm not afraid of taking advantage of opportunity because it's all you want, right? Right. That's, you just want that opportunity to prove that you can do what either some people say you can't do or just to, to, you know, just to, to push yourself to do something different, and it worked out well for me. I would argue, and I want to get your take on this, is the technological revolution in its early stages or its late stages right now? Historically, there's always a revolution going on, right? Um, you know, people were upset when the, the looms were invented to make cloth, right? So the Luddites came through and threw their wrenches and shoes into the works because they thought it was immoral that machines were doing the work of, of humans. You know, now we are in the robotic revolution where there's talk of self-driving cars and should you even own a car because now you're going to call the uber of the future and a personless car is going to show up and drive you to all your appointments more efficiently safely in a more ethical way is the argument than you owning a car and you know are truck drivers going away are there enough truck drivers in america today no by the way um so there's a lot of revolution going on. It is how we handle modernity, right, is a, is, is a subject that has been around for millennia. You know, there's theological arguments of handle, handle modernity. There's historic arguments of how we handle modernity. Um, we're in one of those right now. You know, I'm in the business of providing, you know, intelligent autonomous robotics on flying platforms. Is that going to take jobs away or add to them? That's the question. But the jobs that are going to be here 10, 10 years from now because of our technology will absolutely be different jobs. Starting your route to retirement.